It's only two sleeps till Crimbo! Aha! What's up guys? So the other day I was thinking, what should I do for episode two of Christmas specials week? And then it came to me. One thing I love doing pretty much all year round is watching movies. But in the lead up to Christmas, I watch all my festive favourite films at least twice. So for that reason, I am here in my cosy as hell Primark Penguin PJ's alliteration, woohoo! To bring you guys my list of my top 10 Christmas movies. Now I have far too many favourites and I really just wanted to have a list of 10. So before we begin, here are some honourable mentions. Home Alone. The Snowman. The Polar Express, Mr. Popper's Penguins, and Jingle All The Way. And now for the list! Kicking it off at number 10 is A Christmas Carol. Now I'm using this one as a little bit of a cheat because this includes every version, especially the Muppets. These movies grant us a visit from Christmas past, present and future so that under the watchful eye of Jacob Marley, good old Scrooge can see the error of his ways just in time for Christmas. Number 9 goes to Jack Frost. When Charlie brings back his dad by playing the magical harmonica, they get to spend one last Christmas together. But there's just one problem. His dad returns in the form of a badass snowman. Actually, that's not a problem at all. That's actually pretty freaking cool. It is a great movie, but... <sighs> Don't the mosh. Flowing down that river of tears is The Nightmare Before Christmas. And I already know what you're thinking. Kirsty, that's a Halloween movie. True, but it's also a Christmas movie in my eyes. If two of my favourite times of year had a love child, it would be this movie. It follows the citizens of Halloween Town as they decide to steal Christmas for themselves. And how that pans out is debatable. Also, <coughs> Tim Burton, <coughs> legend. <coughs> Sorry. Speaking of people who stole Christmas, in seventh place we have the, 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 the Grinch. In this movie, Jim Carrey toddles on down from his mountain to join the Who's of Whoville to teach us that perhaps Christmas doesn't come from a store. Perhaps Christmas means a little bit more. Love it, need it, gotta watch it. <laughs> Falling right into the middle of the list is The Santa Claus. Now before I even talk about this film, can all the people who had no idea what the actual Santa Claus was initially, please raise your hands. Not a clue. But aside from all that, basically what happens is, Santa falls off a roof. Then this guy and his kid go all grand theft out on the sleigh, speed on off to the North Pole, only to be told by elves that he is the new Saint Nick. Standard Christmas bands, if you ask me. Moving on, we have Miracle on 34th Street. And... Hmm... You get the picture. Just watch it, okay? In fourth place, how could it be Christmas without the Cranks? In this movie, we see the Crank family decide they want to just cut out Christmas altogether until their daughter decides she wants to come home and then they're just like... Will they pull it off? Will it all be too late? I don't know, you're gonna need to watch to find out. Tee -hee. Next, grabbing a space in the top three is The Holiday. People always ask me what this film has that makes me love it, and I just have to say, gumption. The Holiday takes us on an emotional roller coaster when Iris and Amanda fly to the completely wrong side of the world, only to find the completely right person. It's very cute, very lovely, very much a favourite. <laughs> Jumping on in at number two is Santa! I know him! I know him! You guessed it, it's Buddy the Elf. This movie is a Christmas crowd pleaser and for good reason. Give this movie a watch and join the world's tallest elf as he explores New York City, finds his family and oh so much more. The only other thing I have to say about it is I'm singing, I'm filming a video and I'm singing I'm filming a video and I'm singing! Hey! There's no singing on YouTube! Yes there is! We sing all the time! Especially when we make stuff! <laughs> okay, I'm done. Last, but by no means least, we have my favourite Christmas film. Love Actually. 
Love Actually takes place over the month before Christmas, where eight different couples encounter life, laughter, and above all, love. It brings comedy, it brings romance, it brings basically everything you want in a film. If you watch just one of the films out of all the ones I've mentioned, make it this one. Trust me. I just, I, I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. <laughs> watch the film, you'll get the joke. So there you go, everything you need to carry you through the last couple of days until Christmas, the snow's coming down. Can you tell I'm getting excited? Can ya, can ya, can ya? Moving on, I just want to say that of course there are hundreds of great Christmas films and classics that I've had to leave out, but it's just like Halloween, if I included everything, this would be a freaking movie. But because there are plenty more to still talk about, I want you guys to comment below and tell me what your favourite Christmas movie is and why you love it. Also, remember we have one video left of Christmas Specials Week, so it will be making an appearance tomorrow, so why not click that shiny little subscribe button down there to make sure you don't miss it. If you don't, I'm just going to tell Santa that you've been naughty. But other than that, much love you guys, and I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye!